Hey, all my meat hogs out there, it's Jeremy from Big Polar Jar Barbecue. Today we're going to put some racks of ribs on the smoker. Um, I put a rub on them last night, got home late and didn't have enough time to uh, set up the video and everything, but I'm going to show you what I put on them, and then we'll uh, throw them on the smoker. And these are the spices we used. Uh, let's start off, we use white sugar, dark brown sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, cracked black pepper, and red pepper. On the ribs, we just did a generous amount over the top of each one of these, um, not too heavy, and I let them sit in the refrigerator for 12 hours, and I got four racks of uh, St. Louis style ribs and I got two racks of baby back and we will be throwing them on the smoker. Alright I got the ribs on the smoker. I don't know if you see the temperature. Temperature looking pretty good. Um, it's gonna fluctuate a little bit but we're gonna try and keep them between uh, 225 and 250. The smoke's coming out nice and clear. Let me show you the ribs I got on there. I got the six racks, racks of ribs on there. They're looking good. And the firebox, I got some hickory, piece of hickory and apple in there. All right, folks. I just uh, moved these around. I flipped them over. The rib that was up here, I put back there. And this one, put back there. And I crossed these two over. Um, that way there, some are close to the heat, some are further away. They get their turn, so it evens them up. And got a little apple juice in here. And we're just gonna give them a spray down a little bit. starting to look pretty darn good all right and we'll be back Go ahead. all right folks I'm just taking them off to wrap them I, I meant to say I did take the membranes off the back sides of all of them um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little more apple juice squirt then we're gonna give it uh, probably three tabs of butter on it And then after that, uh, got some brown sugar. We're gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on it. My assistant, well, my old man's here. <laughs> I won't be uh, stingy with it. The more the merrier. And then we're just gonna wrap it up and put it back on this wrap it up and put it back on the smoker. Alright, I just uh took the ribs out of the foil and I am just going to add just a light layer of sauce to these ribs. Um people want to add a little more, that's fine, but we're just going to dress it up just a little bit, some sauce, don't want to go too heavy, just glaze it a little bit up and uh, let the sauce cook on a little bit and pretty much we'll be done. Alright these ribs are done, I'm going to pull one off and uh, cut into it and give it a bite. All right, I'm just cutting into this and uh, I think you can see the smoke ring on it. Um, now the question is, I'm holding the camera so when I cut it, 
I'm not going to have another hand to hold on to. When you cut ribs, it's a question for all the people out there. Do you cut it in the middle between the bones or do you cut it down one bone and go down each bone so you're not eating around the meat but have the meat on one side of the bone? Well, this is a rib we're looking at. It's looking uh, pretty good there. And I'm going to give it a try. Alright, let's give this rib a try here. Mmm. Yeah, that is good. Gotta give it one more try. Or two. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely good. That smoke flavor came out through. Now, when I smoked it, I used apple and hickory. That seems to be my favorite mix right there. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.